Thank you. All of you for being here today. We, we just held a, as Leader McCarthy said, we just held a hearing in the Rayburn House Office Building and heard a number of powerful testimonies from these, uh, these. Jim Banks, and while he's making his way up here, oh, he's right behind me, I do want to say, these girls didn't lose their titles. They didn't lose podiums. They were stolen. These podiums, these titles, these awards, they were stolen from them. And that is something that needs to be rectified. So with that, champion, Representative Tim Banks. Thank you, Kat. Um, thank you. All of you for being here today. We, we just held a, as Leader McCarthy said, we just held a hearing in the Rayburn House Office Building and heard a number of powerful testimonies from these, uh, these female athletes of what they've dealt with. And, uh, and I want all of them to know, first and foremost, that we hear you. We, we heard your stories. We, we've, we've listened to you. This isn't a matter of, uh, of, um, of politics. This isn't about liberal and liberals versus conservatives. Behind me, we have young women who are conservative and we have young women who are liberal. Uh, over 70% of the American people are, are on the side, though, that boys shouldn't be allowed to compete against girls in sports, that men shouldn't be allowed to compete against women in sports. So this is a matter of fairness. It's very personal to me. I'm a girl dad. I have three daughters, and I love to watch each of them compete in sports. And this is about whether or not Title IX will, will uh, protect their right to do that. Fifty years ago today, Title IX was signed into law. It was actually a, a Hoosier senator who was, is called the father of Title IX, one of the authors of that important law 50 years ago. He was a liberal Democrat. Today, I don't think he would recognize this law that allows men to compete against women and boys to compete against girls. So in conclusion, I want you to know that as chairman of the largest caucus on Capitol Hill, the Republican Study Committee, we've put um, your, your, uh, your concerns, the, the, the testimonies that you provided us today, we put it into action, and we have a plan. And you heard a little bit ago, you heard the Republican leader, Kevin McCarthy, say that he is committed to taking that plan and, and uh, advancing it as a part of the Republican agenda next uh, January. But in the meantime, we're still at work fighting uh, for this important cause. Um, Debbie Lesko, my colleague from Arizona, introduced the Women's Bill of Rights, and we have dozens of Republican co-sponsors who have signed on to that, recognizing the differences between men and women, and fighting for women and the important role that they play in our society. Greg Stubbe behind me from Florida has a bill to save women's sports. It's a common sense bill. And uh, he, he too has dozens of, of co-sponsors, all Republicans who have signed on to that bill. I went down uh, to the well of the floor of the House and I filed a discharge petition to force a vote, uh, to, to force Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, to put Greg Stubbe's bill on the floor for a vote. And we have nearly 200 signers who have signed on to that discharge petition. All Republicans, by the way, who have recognized the importance of this, of this issue, who have signed their name. We're not that far away, though, from just needing a just a dozen or more so uh, signers onto that discharge petition to force Greg Stubbe's bill to save girls sports to come to a vote so that every representative has, a, has an opportunity to vote to make their voice heard. These are important issues and uh, we take very seriously the message that all of you brought to share with us today and we will continue to fight uh, for you with that. I think we can take a couple of questions. Anybody? If not, we'll get out of the humidity and uh, get back to work. But thank you very much to all of you for being a part of uh, this important cause today. God bless.